Hi y'all, I'm Allison. Welcome to the Mighty Bujo. Today we'll be setting up a November pages. But before we get to that, I want to share my cover page with y'all. I had sketched it out on camera and then took a break and came back and forgot to hit record when I was painting it. So unfortunately all I have to show for it is this, but I will be doing these items later on throughout the month to show y'all how I did it. So back to the task at hand we're doing november setup and there'll be i think six or seven double page spreads along with some fall and thanksgiving decorations including a scarecrow a turkey i think there's a wheelbarrow so there's a lot to do today here I'm just obviously setting up my monthly view and my uh, to-do lists and whatnot over here on the other page but first before we get to that I thought I would sketch out a little harvest scene now I'm doing things a little differently this time on any big decorations that I'm going to be putting on my pages I will be sketching everything in pencil first and I have only sped up the video by 200%. Normally everything's at 800. So I thought it might be more beneficial or helpful if I slowed this down a little. So in case you were wondering how do you draw a leaf or how did you sketch this out? And then once I start coloring it in, I will speed everything back up. Now if you find that you like it better this way, then be sure to let me know down in the comments so I can continue this or if you would prefer not to see this and just get on with it or have it in 800% so like I'm basically kind of experimenting I would like it to be as useful to my viewers as possible just let me know what you prefer and I will take that into account for my future videos Okay, now you may have noticed I am using Tombos and I'm using multiple colors with each thing, trying to give it a more, trying to get away from the cartoon look this month. I wanted more of a illustrated look. And I really like how the dark yellow worked with the light yellow and the corn. And then I've used two different colors for the leaves. And if the ink is still wet from your Tombos, they will blend together quite well. So, but you got to get in, got to get in there almost like immediately for the colors to blend properly. Now it's four different shades of like a yellow and brown to do the hay bundle. I also thought maybe it would be more beneficial if you could see both views while I'm drawing. So again, if you find this useful, please let me know if you think it's just more of a distraction, then let me know that as well. This year, to hopefully enjoy the Christmas season as much as possible, I want to be able to 
kick back and watch Christmas movies and just maybe work on some crafts, enjoy the decorations and the season. So I'm hoping to have everything all set up before the end of November. So my holiday prep is going to be important. Speaking of which, I will be putting up a video or two, I don't know yet, on how I plan to accomplish all of that. So be sure and keep an eye out. I'll have a, I know I will definitely be doing a Thanksgiving dinner timeline again. And then um, on my schedule for getting all the decorations up. I put up like six trees. I, I go pretty crazy. So needless to say, there is a lot to do. So here is obviously my habit tracker. And I went kind of simple with this one because hopefully it will be filled in with, I'm using like a hay colored yellow. And hopefully I will get to a lot of this stuff this month and that's where all my color will come from. Now if you've been watching my channels, you know that this year I am doing mini challenges every month to try and establish some good habits. And while I have been setting up my bullet journal every month and using it for my to-do list daily. I've noticed lately that I am not coming back and filling in these pages at the front. Like I'm not doing my four lines a day or even using my habit tracker. So I, I do enjoy it. What I've been doing though is at the end of the month, I go back and I read what my to-do list and my notes were on my dailies and then I kind of journal everything all at once. Or I go back and try and piece my habit tracker back together. So my mini challenge for this month is to do these pages every day and start planning my day in the morning. And I'm hoping that'll get me back on track and get my schedule under control, which is gonna be crucial for this month if I have plan to have everything done for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So over here, I am sketching a turkey. I found an image online and did my best to draw it. I struggled a little bit at first, but I finally just quit overthinking it and just did it. Now one thing when you're doing a turkey, and I'll show you here in a moment to get the uh, tail fan, fan of the tail, you, uh, having a circle helps, or an oval rather. So that oval is just to serve as a guide for his tail feathers. And I forgot to turn on my camera again. I am sorry. But I will be drawing him again in one of my weekly layouts. So be sure and keep an eye out for that if you want to see how I did the color scheme. And up here, I decided to do some fall leaves. I found the easiest way to make a leaf is if you draw your stem and the veins first. So that's what I'm doing here. And then that kind of gives you the shape of the leaf. And you just start at the top. And as you're making the size of it, you do like a J hook 
or like a stretched out M. If you look on the edges, those are the shapes that you'll see. And it, it works really good. And they all vary just because you're not going to draw your veins the same way each time. see how the hooks in there and then kind of the stretched out M shape. And down here, I'm doing a little scarecrow. He was fun to do. And actually a lot easier than I expected. I would have shown the side view on this as well, but when I was doing these pages, it was late, my brain wasn't there, and I had my book pushed too far to the left, so you really can't see the image in the, it wasn't in frame, which I think I will switch over in a little bit and you'll see what I'm talking about. But once his basic shape was down, and that was all I worried about with this one, I just started coloring. Reminds me of the old Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls from like the 70s, his face. My fence got a little wonky. I should have made that other, that far left line more perpendicular, but for some reason I slanted it. I don't know why. Last second I decided to put some pumpkins between him and the fence to kind of balance it out. You can see where my book was too far to the left, so it was out of frame. And then to go with our little scarecrow, I thought over here, maybe a wheelbarrow with some uh, fruits and veggies in it. And this was super easy to draw.
my circle was not a circle so I, for some reason I thought well it'll be easier to just do it with the marker there's no need to sketch it out again with a pencil and uh, yeah it was even worse than before but uh, that's okay And I decided to kind of thicken it out. And it looks like one of those old wobbly wheelbarrows. Did the same grass on the bottom to tie the two pages together. And then my last two pages will be for my channel. So, for a final flip through, flip through, here we go. I will be doing a cornucopia. I think it was my second weekly layout for November. So, if you'd like to see how that was drawn, then be sure to subscribe and come back. So yeah, be sure and let me know in the comments if you like it with the sketching slowed down and included in the video or if you would like them to be a little more fast paced and left that, that left out. So just drop me a line and let me know and I will definitely take all of that into account with my next ones. Isn't that too cute? I love that one. So there it is. I got November all set up. I hope y'all enjoyed this and got some ideas for your own pages. Be sure and keep an eye out. And thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.